Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday and Sam is home again. Sam is gonna be home a lot in the near future. Just an FYI. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. The girls and I have already lived an entire life, it seems, this morning. What did you do this morning, Sam? I did nothing at all. Just <laughs> took care of the horses in the morning. He put the horses out in the morning. We put the horses in in the afternoon. That's what our routine is going to be like when you're home. And then you're doing the nighttime? And then he puts them out in at night. But the girls are always with whoever it is. Like if I'm there doing it, the girls are with me. If Sam's there doing it, then the girls are with him. We do farm stuff together. We're a family and we all wanted this and so we all do it together. I went shopping and bought all the stuff I needed for the horses, all the stuff I needed for the chickens, all the stuff I needed. Today, when I went out to do the chicken, the chickens told me that they needed more food, more pellets. So I feed them crumble and I feed them pellets and they have so much crumble, but they told me that they needed more pellets. I'm like, what the heck? Why can't you just eat the crumble? But nope, they all formed a little line and went right to the bucket where I pour all the pellets in. And they stood there looking at me, looking at the pellet bucket, looking at me, looking at the pellet bucket. And I was looking at them, looking at the crumble bucket, looking at them, looking at the crumble bucket. And they didn't budge. I caved. I caved to my chickens, you guys. I went to the store and I bought more pellets just so they could be happy. Anyway, we are off to some place that we used to go all the time before we had horses. We went there all the time, every year. We dreamed of horses, we dreamed of a farm, we went to this place. And then we got horses, and we got a farm, and we stopped going. <laughs> In our defense, there were two years where it wasn't held because of COVID. But today, we're going back. I don't know how much of it is going to be good for us, because I think the kids might be too old for this. They used to love this place. Can I put this stuff in the trunk? Sure, put it in the trunk. Yeah, anyway, we're just waiting for you know who, the and then... Though. We're headed out. It is Thursday of a long weekend and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. The dog days of summer are coming to an end. It is hot though. Hasn't it been so Lift hot? It up. It's been so hot. Like summer really started now, it feels like. It's so hot. Our grass is all dying. Everything is dying. August is hot. August is hot, yeah. So every year there is a farm show and plowing match. And it's someplace that we've always gone. So what they do is they change farms. Every year a different farm will host the farm show. And there are a bunch of vendors and you go around and in the past we brought the kids and there have been like craft stations, but every new and innovative product that you can buy for farm animals are typically at a farm show. We love going, we love looking around at all the stuff. So that is where we are today and here we go. Drinking fountain. I don't want to be alone. Spend too much time by myself. That is a tractor. Yeah, well, that's that makes me nervous. That has got some big tires. Those tires, Sylvie, stand by the tires. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Go stand by the tires so I can see. Well, that, my friends, is a big tractor. That's a tractor. It's the Sam's favorite place. Oh my God. <laughs> Here's the problem. The question is, can you drive oh, underneath one the of these? There. The ladder's there. So when you watch those shows where the Lamborghini goes underneath these tractors, the ladder's there. Yeah. What does that mean? If you watch the shows, they don't have the ladder. Look at these quilts. I love the farmer quilts. Like that is so cute. But it, oh, it's, it's yeah, look at that. So nice. Sam got these invasive plant species books and like invasive forest pests and like diseases. I like we, yeah, we love little books like this. You can find out like what weeds are bothersome and what weeds are okay. And they also gave him some seeds. Something gypsy moth. Yeah, European gypsy moth. Those are the ones that are ready to put the tape on the tree. Yeah, wow. That's cool. This is the antique tractor section. I wonder if our tractor would be in here. More tractors. This is the place that we went and we got that stick. Remember that stick that I showed you guys? And it shows you how tall your grass has to be before you put your horses on it. And it's like, that's the truck I want. <laughs> they don't sell trucks here though. 
FM's still on the hunt for a good truck. I don't think they do. But you know what we did find? Because the black one says 10,000 off. Oh. It's a big hay bind. This cuts your hay, right? It's a big one. It's a brand new big one. I, I, I would need a huge tractor like that. We'd need a big, huge yeah. tractor like that to pull it. That's the big square bales of hay. So this is what's kind of cool about this place. They always have like the plowing match. So these are the big horses that plow. So there it goes. Could you imagine? Let's put Penny on one of those and see what she can do. <laughs> no. Let's put Willow Penny on and That's Penny. hard work. She know what to those are, Willow and Grace. Like, <laughs> those ones look like mules. Are they mule? <laughs> yeah, they look like They're them. huge. I think so. They're probably no. mules mixed they with are big ears that's for sure yep. so then at the back there you can see the guy who stands sam and i are like let's just sit <laughs> we like the back there. yeah gabby's on the four-wheeler back there sam and i are in the sitting one i'll be on the horse. Gab, sophie will be on the horse <laughs> gabby likes that tractor better but sam no, I never picked that. this one that is a, such a cute tractor wouldn't you love that tractor though It'd be fun to drive around. It'd be yeah. fun. Like it's, it can turn around to two sides. They've got some really nice big sheds here. Sure. Go in. 6,500. That's cute. You can put stuff up there. I like it. Perfect chicken coop Yeah, it's a perfect. That's nice. I put like, like get in there. Oh, he pushes me in. I would put like. Here down would be chicken area. Okay, so my idea would be there down would be like for new baby chickens, how you integrate them into the no. flock. I say... I would make this whole thing into a chicken coop. You have to have sections you because... You section to store your stuff. There can just be a small section over there to store it. Up there, that's what that's for. They could roost up there. It's hot in here though, holy moly. Okay, so wait, I want to tell them something really quick. Um, so we found these fire alarms, and Sam's really excited about them. Um, they, you can put it in the barn, and... They're wireless. They're wireless, and if the fire alarm goes off in the barn, it sends you an alert. All the fire alarms go off in the whole house. And then the company calls you and tells you exactly where the fire is. Like, for no, barns... Oh. You get it on your phone. Oh, you get it on your so phone. There's no company involved. It just goes to your phone and it tells you where everything is. Wow, that's amazing. It tells you if it's in the barn or in the house. All right, let's go because I'm about to pass out in the heat. That, my friends, is it. In the past, this has been a massive show with rows and rows. Like, you can't just walk around. You have to take, like, a big wagon cart thing. But it's, I, th I feel like it's, it's the whole world is coming back from COVID and that's what you get. Post COVID, you get smaller events. It'll take a couple of years to build back up. And with the recession that's on its way, that's already kind of happening, I think it'll be even longer. But anyway, it was fun, it was worth it, and short and sweet in the heat is where it's at. My life is getting crappy. We were headed to the barn, and it's starting to pour rain. We have a show, and, and our lesson just got canceled, like at the last second, honestly. like. I'm starting to get so frustrated with life. Or am I just in a hill? No, I'm tall. you are tall. Let's go back to back to back to back. Wow, it used to be like that with Gabby. Anyway, we decided to stop at the mall for dinner. We always eat out on the night of riding. We always just go to the mall because we can all choose different stuff. Sam and I always get yeah. sushi. All right, Gabby got her typical burger. Sophie got Chinese and Sam and I Sam and I are winning life with sushi. Look at how much sushi costs, though. Every single piece of sushi for shrimp in it. Uh, yeah. Sylvie is allergic to shrimp. So we decided to make the best of it and go shopping, and we ran into Bailey. I love your hair so much. I love that color. You look amazing. How old are you, Bailey? I'm 11. 11, and you ride horses? Yeah. Do you have a horse? Yeah. Wow, what do you have? Um, yeah. Well, her name is Nutmeg. Oh, I love that. Is she like a tan color? 
No. Uh, she's like a gray. Oh, I love that. What do you ride? Um, I ride like jumpers. You ride jumpers, so you're like our competition. Well, that's cool. I love these. I love crochet shorts. I could make these. They're really cool. Oh, that's that's cute. I think. I like that. I like it too. Not a crop. So we are planning for fall shopping. Although Gabby shops, Gabby wears fall all the time. You want that? Kind of. I don't know. It seems like old ladyish. Gabby is a connoisseur of glasses. I love these kind of dresses. I always used to want to have a girl so she'd wear dresses and then poof, they grew up and there's no more dresses. Yeah, those are cute. Sophie's really into track pants right now. Yeah, I want the green though. What color? Sophie can't decide. She's got pink, blue, and green. What do you, you guys can't decide? can't them because they have to wait for the video to be posted. Yeah, that's true. So get the fan. Don't you know that you're beautiful?